Alright everybody, welcome back to Call of Duty Ghost. Today we're actually doing a stats update here on COD Ghost, uh, just for you guys. This is like near the end of COD Ghost, so I thought I might as well do a stats update for you guys. Uh, obviously before the new COD comes out, I don't think I'm even getting the new COD, but this is just for my COD, uh, you know, subscribers, people that stayed with me for a long time since I've been doing COD. And uh, I'm just going to do a general stats update here for Call of Duty Ghost near the end of the cycle. Barely even play this game anymore. And uh, yeah, here we go. Alright, so... We're going to get into the squad members. Obviously, you guys can see a max prestige, 10th prestige here. And uh, there's first prestige, obviously, Rick Grimes, uh, Daryl Dixon, Andrea, Shane Walsh, blah, blah, blah. I don't really need to go into the class setups, but here, I'll just scroll through them a little bit. Uh, these bottom ones are actually for esports. Uh, so I, I do play a lot of Clan v Clan esports with my, uh, with my team. You know, we kind of mix it up and have some fun and uh, stuff like that. I actually did buy a lot of camos for this game, actually. I spent quite a bit of money, so I bought Hydra, uh, Nebula, there's Flags, Fitness, uh, Advanced Warfare, um, there's Soap, Heartlands, Molten, 1987, Eyeballs, uh, actually, yeah, I think that's pretty much about it. Obviously, I bought the Ice Camel, but that came with the Season Pass. Uh, we unlocked Body Count, obviously, via She Good Old Clan Wars, uh, Kiss of Death, level 23 clan and uh, war cry well that's diamond division clan wars and stuff like that so uh, I also got spectrum here I actually exclusively unlocked that pretty cool pretty cool camo I love spectrum spectrum is really nice and uh, stuff like that obviously you guys can see on my character I do have full war cry too this is some private match so don't you know think this is you know me just showing you my private match character I actually do have full war cry with the clan I'm also a max level clan uh, it's Colt faction uh, maximum level clan KD 1.26, uh, 54% win percentage. Uh, there's only 14 members now. We did have like 22, but I did a lot of kicking uh, these previous days, and uh, we earned 25 rewards. Uh, War Cry, full War Cry, and full body count being pretty much most of them. So we'll go into the uniforms here. Actually, we'll go to the heads first. Uh, you guys can see we have all the body counts in War Cry head. We have the body count Merc, the Reaper, the Assassin, and the Savage. So all very, very cool. I love them. I uh, always go with the Warcry Savage, obviously, because it looks pretty much the coolest. I switch up sometimes with the mask. Depends on what I'm playing with, like what gun and stuff like that. And uh, we go to the uniform here. You guys can see we also have the body count and Warcry uniform. So yeah, the very, very cool. We just actually got the uniform this past Clan War. Not doing Clan Wars anymore since obviously we got the uniform now and stuff like that. And uh, I also got all these uniforms, too. They're pretty damn nice. They're pretty damn nice. Alright, so, uh, yeah, I also bought, actually, the wolf kill streak as well. Uh, let's actually just go into the store and, you know, show you guys what all I bought. So, obviously, I bought the season pass. Uh, obviously, all the map packs are downloaded for here for Call of Duty Ghost. Uh, personalization packs. Uh, those are the camos. I did get quite a bit of those, if it ever fetches the store information. I doubt it will. Uh, it always has to be stubborn like this I don't really know why but anyways extra slots I bought those I didn't buy any of those voices I just thought they were pointless they didn't really do anything for the game uh yeah that's honestly that's pretty much it my favorite weapon is the vector I have like 10,000 kills with it pretty proud of it obviously as you guys can see right here my stats my KD ratio a 1.297 pretty much a 1.30 preferred weapon vector CRB uh, current streak I that's the win streak I don't have one right now I haven't played in a while uh, wins, 2,045, games played, 3,006, win-loss ratio, 2.14, pretty proud of that. And also something I'm pretty proud of is time played, 13 days, 16 hours, 25 minutes, and 43 seconds. I know, I have no life. Uh, <laughs> anyways, we're going to go to barracks real quickly and go to leaderboards. Obviously, you guys can see me on the leaderboards pretty much at the top of my friends list, uh, other than Cold Prodigy and Toxic. And yeah, we go to score, again, pretty much at the top of my friends list. Brayden, his score is actually, uh, it's not, like, he didn't hack it, but at the start of the game, there's a bunch of hack lobbies, and he got into one. And, uh, unfortunately, it messed up his stats and stuff like that. But, uh, anyways, yeah, pretty much, again, at the top of my friends list for score, time played, you know, stuff like that. Uh, wins, I'm actually, I'm not at the top of my friends list for how many wins I have, but I am at the top of my friends list for my win-loss ratio. Uh, so I'm, I'm pretty proud of that. That's pretty nice uh, to, you know, be at my top of my friends list with my win-loss ratio. Other than, you know, these starter accounts that Colt started a while back. And uh, obviously my Colt Frost, I have a 13.50 win-loss ratio, which again, pretty proud of that. Uh, but anyways, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, there's not really 
you know, anything else. I'm not recruiting. We're not recruiting anymore for the clan. Uh, so, sorry, your application, I don't, it won't get denied, but it won't get accepted, you know, it'll just kind of chill there. Uh, we're not recruiting anymore, it's just basically the crew from now on. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, full Warcry, full body count, and I'm also max prestige on Black Ops 2, so that's the title I'm rocking right now. Along with the, if it bleeds, I can kill it. I say, probably the best emblem patch in the game. I really like it. Let's actually go through, uh, patches real quick. Everything I've earned for patches. So obviously standard issue, everybody has everything, and uh, I'm just going to scroll through them here and uh, just show you everything I've earned for first class, and i uh, just going to go a little quickly. I don't want to take forever on this, and uh, the game modes, uh, I do play a lot of everything because of clan wars and, you know, stuff like that. What I'm actually, one I'm pretty actually proud of is this one right here, uh, Lockdown. Um, lock down the enemy team in Blitz or shut it down. Uh, hit the square limit with the enemy team scoring zero. So we literally went 16-0 and one time playing Blitz. So I'm pretty pretty excited about that. And uh, there's all those patches. Don't really have any of those perks. Those are really not even important. Uh, weapons, again, those are like attachments and stuff. Not really important. Uh, classified. Here is something that I'm pretty proud of. Because I almost have every single classified emblem in the game. Uh, you guys can see messing with the Sasquatch. If you guys are interested in knowing how to get that, you actually have to knife somebody with the ghillie suit on. So obviously that depends, you know, completely on the enemy team whether they're rocking a ghillie suit or not. So that's kind of dumb, but at the same time, yeah, it's pretty easy. Uh, this one right here, you actually have to headshot somebody with the chainsaw, but the the person you headshot has to be wearing, I believe it's the PMC Elite Heavy Uniform. So it's pretty damn hard. You can get, that's don't cross the stream. That's actually uh, that's actually from the show Ghostbusters. Or not the show, I guess the movie, uh, the movie Ghostbusters. And uh, you know it's kind of like a little Easter egg slash uh, you know hidden patch in there as well. So the PMC Elite Heavy Uniform. It looks like a Ghostbusters uniform because it has a big tank on the back, and you have to hit shot somebody with uh, the chainsaw. So definitely, you know, like I said, that'd be hard. Just use the chainsaw a lot, and eventually you'll get some retard running their uniform. So. Uh, this one, Extinction Rank 19, uh, Extinction Rank 24, uh, Extinction Rank 27, uh, Escape Extinction, any map, you just have to escape it, uh, Escape Extinction 10 times, obviously, you have to escape it 10 times, uh, 10,000 weapon kills, it's pretty self-explanatory, uh, revive 100 times, just revive any person, doesn't matter, 100 times, just get 100 revives. Uh, and this was unlocked at Prestige 5. I'm only Prestige, I think it's 4 now, I believe. So, pretty close to that. I might be playing Extinction, uh, you know, pretty heavily within the next couple of days. Trying to get that patch before Cod Ghost is kind of off the shelf. Stuff like that. And here are all the clan patches. Clan level 5, clan level 8. Uh, clan level 13, 16, 18, 21. And uh, right here is clan level 25. Uh, this one's Earned in Clan Wars. They're different different patches, like this one's for holding three uh, nodes, I believe. Or like a node for three days straight, I believe. That's the one you can get with that. Uh, you know, they're all different challenges. Uh, and some of them are actually uh, Clan War exclusives. Um, like, you can't... You, once, once the time to get them is passed, you can't ever get them again. Because sometimes it's like exclusive to a region, like win or to place top three in a clan war in Antarctica or you know something like that which is I think that one right there so we can't ever get that one uh, sadly but you know what can we do we didn't really, we didn't play clan wars when the game first started we just started pretty much in January and uh, stuff like that so here's the spectrum uh, patch that you actually get for getting the camo as well uh, obviously the Riley here is season veteran that's the season pass uh, Call of Duty app exclusive unlock along with the Ghost, uh, the classic Ghost character, uh, Call of Duty count registration, and Advanced Warfare patch. And I still don't know how to get this one. I'm going to have to be looking into this. Uh, if you guys can tell me in the description below how to get that patch, you know, definitely let me know. Because I'm definitely interested in seeing how to actually get it. Uh, and DLC patches, obviously, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just have to buy them. Uh, buy the camos assigned to those specific patches and uh, you'll get them all. Or just buy them all. <laughs> you know, either or. Uh, here's some backgrounds, obviously the standard backgrounds, I have all 10 squad members, so I have every single one of them, so let's just scroll down here real quickly. Uh, those are all, all the, uh, all the little titles. MW3, previously played MW3, previously played Black Ops 2. 
uh, prestige once in MW3, prestige once in Black Ops 2, uh, max prestige in MW3. I would have that if my douchebag friend Matt <coughs> didn't reset me. Uh, oh well. Anyways, and he reset me on Black Ops 2, but I actually made it back to Master Prestige, so I've officially been Master Prestige twice now, and I'm still Master Prestige, so I'm pretty proud of that uh, in Black Ops 2. And uh, obviously, these are clan, pa uh, clan backgrounds here, level 4, level 9, level 12, level 15, uh, level 19. Uh, this is Prestige 1, Prestige 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, you know, it goes on. Uh, there's some extinction patches. Uh, obviously, those are just ranks and stuff like that. These ones are what I'm pretty proud of. Uh, you escape any extinction map with one relic, pretty easy. Uh, with two relics, pretty easy. And three relics is, you know, it, it gets a little difficult, but you can definitely do it. I haven't done these yet. I'm going to have to, you know, get into that and kind of put on five relics as soon as I reach uh, fifth prestige and stuff like that. So I'll definitely get into doing those probably sometime soon. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty proud of this title as well. One of my favorites, I have to say. And uh, yeah, that's basically it for now. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, feel free to hit it up with a like, share it with your friends. Uh, tell me in the comment section below uh, if you guys know how to get that secret patch uh, that I was talking to you about, that extinction one. Here, I'll go back into it real quickly. Uh, the extinction one, find all the hidden extinction eggs. I thought that had to do with uh, the extra XP achievements, but I don't think it does because I have every single achievement for that. And, uh, you know, I, I, like I said, I don't think that, uh, I don't think that is it, but if it is, maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. Just let me know in the comment section below if you guys have that patch and tell me how you did get it. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I have 8,797 squad points. Pretty impressive, right? Aiming for 10,000. Probably not going to get there. I don't really play this game much anymore. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you guys, uh, tomorrow on the next one, which will be be I actually have no idea what tomorrow's video will be but it'll be something it'll be something just look forward to it <laughs> all right guys later